uh, have me hammered down. It's the end of the month. It usually does get pretty busy. I guess people are trying to close out loans and uh, whatever they've got in the pipeline they're trying to get done, whatever the interest lock is or however that works on the financial side. Anyway, I'm going out here and I'm going to I'm going to bury some more detectors caches. I'm your father, Luke. Anyway, um, I'm going to bury a couple more caches and hopefully get that uh, get that to somebody that uh, will enjoy it. I've got, uh, I'll show you when I get there what I'm fixing to bury. Uh, and that's it. I do have another cohort, uh, the Detecting Smiths. I'm sure uh, most of y'all know their channel. If not, you need to check them out. Great family, real wholesome, uh, all the way from the little one up to the to the to the dad and mom. Uh, you need to check them out if you haven't. There, uh, and they do a lot of good stuff. I tell you, they they don't play. They're not just waving their stick in the circle, stick with a circle on it around, and then they're uh, they're actually finding a lot of interesting things uh, out there and uh, around there uh, there in uh, Mississippi. Anyway, check them out, and we're almost to the beach, so I'm going to cut it off here, and then I'll turn y'all back on when we get there. Now, this is the next thing I'm doing as far as burying a the cache. These two uh, Walking Liberty uh, one-ounce copper rounds. Are going to detecting Smiths. Uh, they said they were going to help me out and bury a couple of them, and I'm going to put it in this box with some other things undisclosed. They can tell you about it when they open it, or they can tell you about it. And these are my next two burials here locally, which is going to be one of my stickers. And a uh, buffalo nickel in this cute little heart bag. And these are going, I'm not sure, somewhere here locally. I may throw one at the beach or I may throw them different places. Anyway, I'm going to bury a couple more of those. So that's it for that. Um, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Bye. Well, anyway, this is uh, one of the caches I'm fixing to bury. It's just got one of my uh, stickers in there. And then it's got uh, a little bag with a buffalo nickel in it. And that's one of them. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bury another one of these. I got these smaller stickers made up to go on these uh, cases that hold the uh, copper rounds or... I guess you could put a silver dollar in there. Anyway, I'm going to bury one of these also. That's it. I'll let you know if I find anything good. I don't know if y'all can see it right there, but there's a dime right on top of the sand. The tide is, uh, I'm trying to shield this camera from the wind. The tide's going to be low at 10. It's... Uh, I don't know, it's an hour difference, so it's probably 8.30 or 9. Anyway, I'm doing just the low part right here. I'm doing a grid. And I'm actually uh, hunting in pinpoint mode, and then I'm switching back to see what it sounds like. All right, let's get on with it. Pretty cool. Looks like it's a quarter. Down here in the wet. I know this machine is working, and it is, it's a quarter. It's one handed stuff, it's kind of tough. Yep, just a regular quarter. Well, that's alright, it's ringing up good. Okay, here's the next one I'm going to bury. One of my miniature stickers, and it's a copper round of a dollar. There it is in the hole. And this uh, 
this should sound pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> 39, real high. Probably gonna make it to beer can. Anyway, that's it. Well, what it turned out to be is a quarter and a nickel. So I guess that was what was fooling me. There was two signals. <laughs> I think I just dumped the first scoop out on top of the quarter. So that was it. Well, I finally got a piece of jewelry little, uh, I can't tell if I'm got this thing in focus or not. Anyway, it's a little butterfly earring, and it's black, so it could be silver, I guess. Kind of cool. Hey, I'll take any type of jewelry. And, uh, I'm just working the, the wet sand and the, right up to the dry, pretty much. So we'll take it. Butterfly earring. First piece of jewelry. Outstanding. <laughs> it's gotta be right. It's gotta be right there. Toe ring, I think. Definitely a ring. Let me blow it off real quick. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little ring. Cool. Ring in the scoop. Small enough, it's probably a probably a toe ring. Hey, I'll take it. Two pieces of jewelry. Okay, this next hole was a quarter, and here are the uh, clam diggers. <laughs> Say hey, YouTube. Hey, hey YouTube. Uh, <laughs> Good. And that could be your first piece of beach treasure. <laughs> well, here's uh, here's a good look at the size of that. I mean, I've got some big old pork chop fingers, and this thing is huge. Uh, I think from the from the weight and the look, I don't see any markings, but I'm pretty sure it's stainless steel. And it was found by this lady right on top with that rake right there. No detector needed. <laughs> Too cool. All right. Another quarter right here. Get this one handed thing going on. See it laying right in there? Cool beans. I'll take another quarter. He's right about where I buried that copper round, so he may may have found it right there. We'll see. Well, here's a wrap up for uh, my last beach hunt. I uh, went out there to bury some detectors caches, and it was a super low tide, so I went ahead and uh, did some detecting. I was able to check out my uh, Equinox 800 after the la latest update and it seems to be fine now. I don't know what happened. Anyway, this is a new water bag. Kind of like it. Um, so I, I was able to try it out and got my patented pill bottle for all the really good stuff. Took uh, a couple masks, uh, full mask and goggles, these hair tie things. Hey, and there were actually four quarters. I gave one to a girl, which I'm sure you've seen by now, and uh, they were out there clam raking. And then a lot of foil, because I was digging the low tones. So it was actually four quarters, a nickel and a dime. 
and uh, yeah, I'm, you've probably seen the video already. I have no idea what this is, but it's it sounded good. I don't know what those things are, but anyway, uh, this is pretty heavy, got a little bling to it, but uh, this is the next day and it hasn't rusted, so I'm thinking it's probably from the color silver. It's got a little weight to it, and this is a a little toe ring, and it's got some little tiny chips. I assume it's a toe ring. Uh, every other every other place here, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but every other place has got a little little chip. Uh, that may say something right there on that one. I don't know. But, uh, it may be silver. I'm thinking it probably is. There, you can see that one pretty good. It's got little chips of something. Either faux diamond or maybe little diamond chips. And that was it. It was a fun day. Uh, appreciate y'all coming by, watching the video. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. I'm, uh, oh, just about 30 or less from hitting a thousand which would be a great milestone for me and I'm probably gonna give a uh, give a little bit of a giveaway so appreciate it stay by stand by bye well I just cleaned them up a little bit just in the sink and they do have uh, both have hallmarks on them so this is a 925 and I believe those little chips in there if you could see this, I'll check those with a with a uh, diamond tester. This one's also hallmarked uh, right by my thumbnail, right there. Very small, very hard to see, but so they're both silver. Cool. All right, that's it. Okay, we're set here. Ready to go. I'm just going to try and These are very small. I'm just kind of. So these are fake, whatever they are. Now let's see if we can get on a couple of these. Hard to hold. Let's try that one. They're not. They're not testing real either, which is. Let's see if I can find a good one. There's one. Well, that may be. Let me hold it on the silver part. Yeah, these are fake too. Actually on the stone there, not making a move. Okay, real silver, fake stones. Works for me.